Last time, the Order of the Moon and the Legion of Umbria engaged in battle. You defeated Hadrian, dropping him down a chasm, but he summoned a meteor that wiped out the Order of the Moon, save Anselm and Air. Anselm, his face streaked with tears, speaks with a cracking voice. I have failed! The Order is no more! Aaron says, Let us be away from this place! To my master, the Archmage Bartolo Larson, we must go. He will take us in and know what to make of all this. King's Road. The wide, round tower of pale blue stone stands 60 feet tall, 20 feet wide. Stepping out from its worn oaken doors is a thin old man in frayed robes, wearing spectacles and bearing a withered staff. Aaron says, Welcome to Larson Tower. This is my old instructor, Master Larson. He taught me everything I know of magic. Larson says, Ah, a pleasure to meet you all. I have heard of the clash between the Order and the Legion. I am no stranger to Lord Hadrian, and I can assure you he will pay. You are welcome to stay as long as you need. Uh, yeah, basically you were following them and just didn't do anything the whole time. <laughs> That's how we that. That's how we get that. I have plenty of food. I can conjure you food. He conjures you a roasted turkey dinner right in front of you. Settle. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will yeah, feast on the finest delicacies. Wow. You're awoken in the morning at Larson Tower by the sweet chirping of song music. <laughs> you remember Garlagoth's battle plan, in case you forgot. The 100-man crew of Warship Fenrir will be yours to march through the portal to Alaron. Once there, Anselm and Raynard will guide you to a secret entrance to Caer Caladir. When I reach the capital in one week's time, I will commence my attack. That will be your signal to infiltrate Ker Kaladir and assassinate the High King. It is day five in Alaron. Invasion day is today. Today, Garlagoth's 100 longships will attack Ker Kaladir. Larson calls you into his chambers. Aaron has told me that this day you will meet with your fellow Northmen and take the head from my king. I must admit, he is not the king I once knew. He enslaves the men of Moonshe, amassing colonies of the damned to expand his kingdom. This is not our way. We are the folk, the free people. We did not bend to the yoke of Garces for you. And I'm gonna let you finish, but do you require any equipment before you go? Yes, please. I forget what that was. Uh, Shut the cape front door. You the flying fly. cape. They, they all had flying capes in the last session. What? Yeah, I have a flying cape. You don't have you flying, flying capes. Yeah. I mean, so, what was it? What did you say? You have a lot of money. Who else had a flying cape? Was it Mircha? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can take his flying cape. <laughs> Do you guys want to go north? Yeah. Fill the king? Let's go. Yeah. All right. Very enthusiastic. Wait, so wasn't this, we're going up to the king, we're going up to the sorcerer. The High King. Well, Hadrian disappeared. He fell down a chasm. There were no remains of him or his army. Oh, okay. Fuck. I missed that. Oh, uh, j just for the record, I peed on that chasm. Okay. So... That's it? <laughs> you know... You didn't take a shit on it? I, I, I didn't eat... They're all you did. Alright, so Aaron transforms all of you, including Anselm, into vapor. Your essences coalesce together into a cloud that seeps out through the windows of the tower and ascends, picking up speed. You hey. fly north over the forests and hills on your way to the capital. Somebody's touching me. <laughs> the sounds of life and commerce start to rise over the hills. As citizens begin another day of toil on Frigg's Day, the weekend now in sight, you see the wide blue river to the east that Garlagoth will sail up. Allegedly. Dotted with fishing vessels setting out for a day at sea. Anselm's green eyes, once bright with vigor, are now empty and ringed with red as he speaks. Companions, my fight is ended. Aaron and I laid plans last night. We planned to elope and find passage to Waterdeep and start new lives. So those are the plans I was hearing. That's right. And nothing else. <laughs> I thank you for fighting alongside the Order, but I can no longer guide you to Kerr Caladir, since we are here. 
<laughs> I refuse to strike down Aaron's uncle, the High King. And let me warn you, Hadrian may have fallen, but his master, the Blackheart, lingers upon this plane. Wait, 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 wait. So you're just gonna fuck off? Literally. That's right. <laughs> well, yes. what, what are you, little bitch? <laughs> my people are dead. I have nothing left of my people. We offered to resurrect Except, you know, you, you, victory. Your, your people are... Now last session, they were wiped out. Gotcha. I don't know if you were there for that. There's yeah. a Did you want to kill your uncle? The very first session. No, of course not. Is he a shithead? That's why we're leaving. And but yeah. what you do is up to you. Yes, he's a shithead. He enslaves people. And he's enslaved many of your people as well, you will find. <laughs> it's like subtle dick. All of your friends are enslaved, I'm taking out. <laughs> you, play. you don't have to go fight this guy, but he enslaved but everyone. He, he just, I'm not going And let me warn you, Hadrian may have fallen, but his master, the Blackheart, still lingers upon this plane. Alright, I, I, I fear the Blackheart. Uh, seeks to dredge up more abyssal creatures from the depths of time. Oof, Please do not allow evil to take these moonshay isles. Protect them to your last. What, what the fuck? Yeah, really? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna fuck with your penis. Get out of here! You would be the lords of, of moonshay. I would give a fuck! Give me, give me that fucking map that you have. To and all of your equipment. How about yeah. that? I'm sure we rob them. That would be more than enough. It is a very simple way. And yeah. <laughs> Anselm guides you to an ancient Garzian water aqueduct that lies two miles south of the city gates, erected over a rushing river. Okay, great. It says, Dive straight down into the river beneath the aqueduct's arc, and you will find the entrance to a grotto and a subterranean tunnel that connects to the palace dungeon. Alright, so we knock them out. Okay, uh, can we have your shit? <laughs> no, like non lethal. Non lethal. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Why what? <laughs> Why are you tagging him? What potion is Because I'm kind of neutral, so I can do the play I want. Yeah, because we're Vikings. <laughs> this is what we do. Are we really attacking him? Okay, alright, roll on. Why, Why not? Alright, I'll right, It's your turn. Alright, uh, I'm gonna attack the mage. <laughs> We're yeah. trying to knock her out. Yeah. Fuck it. We're, we're forgetting. Last session. Uh, no! Oh, good. Get the fuck out of here. I got yes. six! I have six attacks. It's a mess. Aaron's turn. Aaron oh, grabs yeah. Anselm by the hand and they teleport away into spirit. Son of a bitch. Huh? Let me try it. Well, that could have got worse. I honestly was going to drink. Do you want another dinner here? So, uh, pounding the air all around you is the resounding horns of war. Peering from your vantage point to the river below, you glimpse 100 longships arrayed across the harbor. The longships uh, load balls of pitch onto their catapult decks, set them aflame, and launch them across the bay at the palace walls. No ships sail out to meet them. In fact, you can see that Every Allery's warship is beached or lifted onto a pier. Suddenly, the water plummets in the harbor. In mere moments, the longships drop 60 feet until they rest on the sandy bottom. As 10,000 Northmen disembark their ships, charging up to the city proper. In Allery's shield wall of 2,000 men marches out to meet them. As 2,000 Allery's archers fire from the back ranks, and 1,000 knights gallop down to the shore. <laughs> down into the river beneath, you find a grotto and subterranean tunnel leading to the palace dungeons. So, you ascend a dank, grimy tunnel that extends two miles to the north, black water trickling through its center. Oh, it's a two-mile tunnel, okay. Yeah. The stench of waste fills your senses as you plod on. Above you, long rows of cells, wherein lie bloodied and starving Northmen. Their backs are covered in deep lacerations. Some are missing fingers and even holes. Even, even when doing the right thing means sacrificing everyone. That's true. Kalima. 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 <laughs> um, that's the best one. <laughs> the best one to come out of that. By far. 
Uh, they're right. not trying to eat each other. They just look like they're starving and they're fucking like mangy. And um, I'm just gonna it. signal to them. Oh, you are Northmen, fellow Northmen. Free us from this Allery's hell. We long to return to the fjords and sail free once more. Another one says, I came to Aleron and all I got was scurvy. <laughs> Another one says, no, no. Soon their calls for freedom die away as the click of boot heels echoes down to you. Three men descend a set of stairs 100 feet away. The first wears a black leather mask and spiked plate now. The second is bearded and wears an amulet of Shantea bearing a three-pronged whip. The third is tall and spindly, bearing two butcher's cleavers in his hands. The last man speaks with the cleavers. Looks like the spider caught a couple flies, Zed. Well, we can't have you free and slaves now, can we? They're too much fun to play with. Gross. Um, all right, very nice, Barbie. As Barbie rolls up and uh, slashes through Zed the priest and like bloodies him. Oh, blood. Oh yeah, but first... Red! 17? Yeah. Leg severed at thigh, no move or attack. Victim reduced to zero hit points with a severe bleeding. So, yeah, so the character who pops Just, just the ridiculousness yeah. of it. Alright, uh, so yeah, you disintegrated that dude. You plunged your falchion into his neck, and he just fucking <laughs> melts it. <laughs> <dude. laughs> Uh, oh, stand over his his body, boy. look the other guy boy. in the eyes, and start looting or Zed. No, mm. oh, the gimp go. says, please spare me. I'm fighting with my own hands at this point. I have no weapon, and all of my friends are dead. What information do you have? Yeah, help us get into uh, the throne room. I can tell you in the passageways above, there are 12 knights of the round waiting for you. Do you have drop all your gear first? Uh, all of your gear. He he drops a leather harness. It's uh it's got a lot of stains on it. Uh, it's like got the spikes on it? Uh, it's got some spikes, yeah. That's the one that caused the bleed, right? Spiked plate mill, yeah. I can't remember how to do it. Uh not as good as, as the Adam Anti. In terms of defensiveness, but in terms of men <laughs> disregard the fleeing gimp and they immediately sprint up the stairs ahead of you. Well, yes. from, from the cells, you can ascend up the stairs to a door that leads into a main hallway. You see no guard stationed at the door, and the palace seems somewhat empty. You can go left or right down the hallway. Where, where are all those screaming prisoners? That so they they followed you up, and they're all like right behind you. And all passing through the foyer and rushing out the palace's main double doors into the city. Wait, the they, sounds of chaos erupt briefly before the doors of the palace shut on their right? own soon after. Inside the armory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Davos. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's up in the freaking wall, say. Yeah. I did not stab her. I didn't. I did not. Ah, uh, your path leads up to a wide landing above. Upon this landing stand a set of great oaken doors. I start. Emblazoned with two golden lines. I, I, I rip down the drapes. Uh, no, sir. Like the only way in is this one door. Yeah, let's go through the door. All right. You, you, you want to knock? All right. Is it locked? No. So you enter the throne room. You see the king, armored in white enamel plate mail, spring to his feet and draw a brightly glowing broadsword. Twelve knights move oh, to block your passage, yeah. each bearing magical lances. A blue-robed wizard with a neat black beard narrows his eyes upon you. The wizard says. You are the Northmen who fought Hadrian, and yet you survived his meteor. You must have been aided by some magic. But you, bastard Northmen, you will die slow deaths for sullying my throne room with your ungodly presence. I should have thrown the, the jar of black goo in his face. He would have drank it and swollen up and been like... <laughs> Remember? Who liked it? Rico Somebody, yes. <laughs> he was supposed to be here, but oh, he fuck, fuck him. He canceled his flight. Here he goes, her uh, boomerang. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, three. If you run over here and just fucking shoot. Yeah, you have to move and hit every single Oh my god, do it! Let's go! Can I do this? Can I do this? Be like, boom! 66 psychic damage. Amazing. They are almost all bloodied. Okay. Rage! Fucking court! like. As you are poked and prodded by heavy lances all around, and you are crit at one point for like oh, an ass load. All right, um, so he casts Unleash Harbor Water. A torrent of water <laughs> rushes forth from a bag of holding in Siri Bose's hands. That's really good. Knee shattered, major bleeding, major bleeding. No move, minus four to attack rolls. Wow, knee shattered, major bleeding, no move. Well, okay. good thing he's a caster. Smith the beer bottle opener. Thunder wave. That is Thunder so cool. wave. What's that? No. No. Uh, uh, 16, uh, 17, uh, 21. It maxes out at 13. Does it? I think so. I don't know. Torso destroyed, victim king. Killed. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Let the, the Nodachi into his torso, and you vivisect him, and he is fucking dead. The king is dead! Long live the king! His intestines I... and his blood and his sternum splatter up into the air and fly. I am a new the king! Over attack, beating out. <laughs> Do you surrender? I surrender, yes! No, you don't. My king is dead. I don't give a fuck about any of this. Just let me live. I'll give you all the riches we have. Okay. I look at the knights and I say, do you sur do y'all surrender? Uh they say never. Okay. Well, Nobody yep. knows me. Uh but unfortunately the effects of a critical hit are very bad for you, uh, because he's using a two-handed weapon, the lance, uh that as you're lying on the ground, uh pierces you in the face, uh and actually head is severed immediate death. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me! Your character's dead. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The <laughs> doors to the throne room are thrown open once more as a large boo crashes through them. Into the breach steps Garlagoth, your chieftain, bearing a wicked war axe that drips lava. His three lieutenants, Jarl Bolvik, Jarl Nyargen, and Jarl Oman, are at his side, snarling. The <sighs> king's crown lies on the ground. It is a pure gold circlet oh, inlaid sure, sure, with black up. pearls, surmounted by pink diamond roses of Shantea, and eight platinum arches encrusted with blue diamonds, topped with the galactic rainbow opal. Garlagoth growls at you as you clutch the crown. The crown! That would be mine. I killed this fucker. You have served me well, and proven most useful in laying waste to Adrian. The rangers, and now the High King. Kneel before me, and I may grant you mercy. Bitch! Oh, the game's on, alright. Alas, you whelps have outgrown your usefulness. Uh, here. Let it be death. Wow, this is the thanks we get! Yep. Your all Bovik says to you, Helgrim, Ah, I was looking forward to enslaving you as well, young man. I was looking forward to killing you. He lifts a magical claymore over his shoulder. Yarl Nargrim, Yarl Nargan also says to you, Ocho, you should know, your pinky fingers were delicious. I Licking his lips as, as he raises <laughs> a, a, blue, a blue magical battle axe in each hand. Alright, And Yarl Oman says to everybody, I really don't have a major beef with any of you, but duty calls. Uh, all these fucking knights just run away. <laughs> what? And they say, we're not, we're not fucking with this anymore. That, we're done. Fucking... So yeah, now it's your turn. Right? Everybody just... Uh... Are you fine? Is that yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're right, at, yeah. what, 60 feet? Yeah. Are all of you flying at 60 feet? No, I wasn't at 60 feet, no. He's not flying, but he should be. Just throwing it out yeah. there, suggesting that we set this bitch on fire a while ago. But no, no, no. No, no. I'll be king, they say. It's We're our palace, rich. they say. We're gonna get rich. We're gonna Shit could have been, 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 been burned by now. Get the wizard's bag of holding. Sure. I'm just gonna drop the drapes on him. <laughs> the 
it's soaking wet. Well, they all pull out bows. Oh. And uh, five more dudes roll in and shoot you with bows. And I'm going to grab his bag of holding. And then I'm going to open that bitch and call him a fucking water. It's a harbor full, so it's... It's a harbor... Oh, that's where all the water went? Yeah. You can yeah. fly before you do it, just so that... Well, it's not pointing in my direction. For a fact. Right, right, right. 19. <laughs> See you die inside. <laughs> All of them get washed away, except Jarlgoth and one dude. Which dude? Which Jarl? Uh, Jarl... Did you make these Jarl? Jargon. Was it Jarl Jargon, yeah. the, one of the shitty ones? He's on my two, list. The dude who ate your ears. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. Free action, drop those drapes that I've been carrying. <laughs> are, 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 are they <laughs> prone? Idea. <laughs> right but, are, are these guys prone or anything? Do they save? Okay, I dropped the drapes on him. So, I don't know what that does. It's like blind or something. Um, I have to make a roll to see if it's going to Um, so, uh, your old Yargan got blinded by them, but your old Garlagoth did not. Okay! <laughs> Whose who's turn wow. is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what did I turn. say last Don't get mad because. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Is it your turn? Yeah, it is. No, okay. All right, so, so what are you going to do? So I grab uh, Jarl... Fucking, what's his name? Balagr. Yargen. Yargen. <laughs> um, so you drop him? Yeah. Uh, and he's suck. So he's bloodied. Uh, he's prone. You can knock him prone. Um, is he still wrapped up in the drapes? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Garligoth stumbles back. A concealed bear trap clamps on his foot. <laughs> yeah! This is of Northman make! Who planted this here? Suddenly, a large, yellowy shape leaps over the battlefield and sinks two axes into Garlagoth's chest. Helgrim, you recognize the shape as your lord Ubba, who then vomits a torrent of black liquid into Garlagoth's open mouth. Garlagoth sputters in hell. Yeah! Garlagoth pushes Bubba off of him. Bubba. Uh, Bubba burps. Yeah! Now I feel better. Garlagoth screams as he tears off his helm. He raises his hands Yoink. to the sky. He, his fingers... Garlagoth's fingers elongate and his body grows to ten feet tall. Horns sprout from his head. Hooves replace his feet, and his left arm splints into six tentacles that end in what mouths. What the fuck? His right arm still grips the two-handed lava axe, rippling with mutated muscle. It speaks. I am an aspect of that which you mortals call Yog solfoth Gatekeeper and devourer of worlds. I am summoned to this world by the one they call Blackheart. Direct me to him at once. Call him out, goes to you. Does it though? <laughs> Garligoth spits a black vomit up at you. Um, roll a dexterity save. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Definitely bloody. Definitely bloody. Alright, uh, focus goes to Helgrim. Alright, so I go up to my maximum height, 100 feet, and I drop Jarl Njargen on Garligoth. I say, I said, eat it! Both are very bloody. Alright, so you drop Njargen upon Garligoth, and uh, the tentacles lash and they wrap around Nyargan and they start to consume him and uh, they actually absorb him and he heals a little bit uh, from uh, eating Nyargan. Yeah, Abba will friend? attack Yogspawn. Oh good, thank you Abba. For grapples you and he deals 29 damage with his tentacles. And I assume he deals the same to me? Alright. Murder, murder, murder! 
kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna... As he elbow spikes you in the face with his spikes play now. Wow. Uh, I just keep attacking this guy? Yeah. You've disadvantaged because you're not grappled by uh, six tentacles. Mm. Uh, 11, 21, radiant is double, 31. For one hit. KO'd. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm not- Diamond I'm Hodachi not cleaves through the neck of Garligoth, the youngest man. <coughs> <laughs> I zoom up very high. What will you give me for this? I Wait. rightfully killed the king. It is a fair question. I'll give you your life. Motherfucker just can't make a deal. What is with you people? What is with you people? Just make a deal. I'll give you the Isle of Moray. Done. <laughs> Done with an <laughs> oath. Never to attack Moray. We'll give you this oath. For the time being. So this is a dragon. Alright. Uh, so Ubba is the king of Valoran, and you all are lords of Valoran. Uh, apparently you and, and, uh, and Kalima are now the lords of Moray. Uh, you are the lord of Valoran, alongside, uh, King Ubba. And I'm the I lord can... of the swampiest swamp of you, all. You can claim all the swampiest swamp of Rogershine. You, you just murdered the king of Rogershine, so you can take any of the Northman lands that you want. I want the swampiest swamp that ever swamped. I...